Imagine this, millions of years ago, you're standing in an ancient world. Every breath you take is thick with heavy, sticky humidity. Then the first raindrop falls, and then a hundred more. Soon the sky is unleashing a torrential downpour, so fierce that you can barely hear your own thoughts over the pounding rain. But this isn't your typical storm. This is a storm that will reshape the entire planet. This relentless rain, it's the beginning of an ancient event scientists call the Carnian Pluvial Episode. So picture this, rain falling day after day, year after year, for over a million years. This isn't just a few wet months. This is an era that turns deserts into lush, green wetlands, rivers into raging torrents, and barren landscapes into vibrant, thriving worlds. But here's the big question. Could this endless rainstorm be the reason dinosaurs rose to become Earth's dominant giants? And could we see something this intense happen again? Stick around as we dive deep into the mystery of Earth's million-year down a forgotten cataclysm that changed our world in unimaginable ways. But before we jump in, take a second to subscribe to the channel. If you're fascinated by ancient mysteries and Earth's untold stories, you won't want to miss what's coming up. Hit that like button if you're ready to explore Earth's prehistoric secrets and get ready to uncover how one of the longest rainstorms in history may have set the stage for the age of dinosaurs. To get the full picture, let's rewind back, way back to the late Triassic period, over 233 million years ago. At this time, Earth looked nothing like it does now. All the continents, they were fused together in one massive supercontinent called Pangaea. It's a place of stark landscapes and harsh extremes, with an unrelenting heat that few creatures could survive. Picture a vast, almost alien world, where endless deserts and dry plains stretch as far as the eye can see. Basically, trees are sparse and rivers are rare. And water, well, that's a luxury. There wasn't much fresh water around. And as if things weren't hard enough, volcanoes frequently erupt to painting the sky with ash and lava and adding in smoky haze to the air. Now, life in this era, simply a struggle for the creatures that did exist. This was a rough world to call home. So who's around to witness all of this? Earth was home to a few hardy species that had evolved to survive in this brutal landscape mainly early reptiles, some tough amphibians, and the very first mammal-like creatures that were tiny, quick, and mostly hidden from the heat. But with resources scarce and climate so extreme, life was very limited. Just imagine how desolate it must have felt and how impossible it would have been to thrive here. But then, something remarkable was about to happen. A mysterious shift that no one, no creature, no plant, not even the landscape itself could have predicted. As quickly as geological time goes, the world began to change. The skies opened up in a way that no creature had ever experienced. After millions of years of dry, cracked earth and relentless heat, the skies finally began to stir. At first, there were just a few clouds gathering, barely enough to cast a shadow. But soon the clouds darkened, growing thicker and denser, almost like they were on a mission. And then it began. At first, it was just a drizzle. Imagine the smell of rain hitting dry earth, the hiss of each drop sinking into the soil for the first time in centuries. But that gentle drizzle didn't stay gentle for long. Within hours, maybe days, those raindrops became a downpour. And that downpour turned into a deluge, a wall of rain so heavy it blurred the landscape. This wasn't just rain, it was a transformation. Valleys became rushing rivers overnight, and deserts turned into sprawling wetlands. The rain fell with such force and for so long that it started to reshape the very earth itself. Streams became torrents, carving through ancient rock and transforming dry basins into lakes. Floodwaters crept into low-lying plains, creating landscapes that had never seen water before. It's hard to imagine, but this rain kept coming, relentless, endless. Day after day, year after year, it poured. Every valley, every hill, every desert floor became drenched. Ecosystems that had once barely clung to life found themselves in an entirely new world, one they'd never been prepared for. It was a downpour that would last not just a season, not even a century, but over a million years. This wasn't just an ordinary climate shift. This was Earth itself transforming. For ancient life, it was a total upheaval of everything they knew. 
Imagine the creatures, the plants all, suddenly thrust into a world they could hardly recognize. Plants and fungi began to spread, taking advantage of the constantly wet environment. They are rooted in the fresh, fertile soils, growing rapidly in this new watery paradise. And in turn, they laid down the foundation for creatures to start adapting, evolving, and diversifying in ways they hadn't before. This was a world in flux. Creatures that could handle the new conditions thrived, while others struggled to survive in the ever-rising waters. And slowly but surely, the rules of life on Earth began to change. The rain was setting the stage for something spectacular, a new beginning that would shape the future of our planet. A barren world was evolving into a lush, green paradise, one rainstorm at a time. And in this newly fertile landscape, life would find new ways to grow, adapt, and dominate, paving the way for the giants that one day ruled the Earth. But here's a million-dollar question. How do we know any of this actually happened? After all, we're talking about events that took place over 233 million years ago, long before any human or written record. The answer is rocks. Yes, Earth's ancient rocks hold the secrets of our planet's past, like pages in a history book written by nature itself. Scientists dug deep into layers of rock that had been buried and preserved over the ages. These layers are like Earth's very own diary, each one recording clues about the environment, the climate, and even the air back when it formed. And what they found in these layers was astounding. Rocks from the late Triassic period, scattered across continents, showed something peculiar. They contained high levels of minerals like clay, gypsum, and shale that only form in wet, waterlogged conditions. Layers upon layers of these minerals suggested that Earth had once been well, almost entirely drenched. And it wasn't just one location. Scientists discovered these clues worldwide, from North America to Europe and even Asia. Imagine that, evidence of a million-year rainstorm preserved in rocks across the entire globe. It's as if nature left us a breadcrumb trail waiting for someone to decode it. Here's where things get even more interesting. These rocks also contain trapped air bubbles. And when scientists studied them, they found signs of a massive spike in greenhouse gases, especially carbon dioxide. This suggests a huge increase in CO2 levels around the same time that the endless rain began. But there's more. These ancient rock layers also reveal evidence of massive plant growth. As rainwater nourished the land, it allowed plants to flourish, creating fertile tropical environments across what had once been dry, barren landscapes. In fact, some rock layers even show traces of ancient plant roots and spores preserved in the sediment, giving us glimpses of the lush ecosystems that sprang up in this new rain-drenched world. And as if that wasn't enough, scientists also found tiny fossils of amphibians and early reptiles in these layers, indicating that life was taking full advantage of this wet, thriving environment. These creatures weren't just surviving, they were thriving evolving to fit into the new ecosystems that had come to life almost overnight. Each of these discoveries is like a puzzle piece, revealing the clues of an ancient climate shift that was so intense that it's hard to even picture. It's an incredible reminder of just how powerful Earth's climate system can be and how massive changes can be recorded in something as simple as a rock. These ancient rocks are like time travelers, carrying a story from an unimaginable past and giving us insight into a world that was forever transformed. And each new discovery brings us one step closer to understanding just how dramatic and unpredictable our planet's climate can be. So, what could possibly cause rain to fall and keep falling for over a million years? One leading theory takes us right to the heart of Earth's core. Imagine massive volcanic eruptions, not just one or two, but a series of colossal eruptions sending ash and lava into the sky. And this wasn't just an ordinary volcanic event. We're talking about eruptions that are so powerful, they darken the skies and change the entire atmosphere. These eruptions unleashed enormous clouds of carbon dioxide and methane, Two powerful greenhouse gases, when these gases rose into the atmosphere, they created what scientists call a heat trap. Think of it as a thick, invisible blanket around the Earth. This blanket started to warm up the planet, triggering a dramatic chain reaction. The warmer Earth got, the faster the oceans began to evaporate, and with so much extra moisture in the atmosphere, clouds formed like never before. Soon, the entire planet was covered in thick, heavy clouds just waiting to unleash that moisture back down onto the land, creating an unending cycle of rain. But the volcanic eruptions didn't just bring rain, they brought chaos. The intense volcanic activity spewed out not just gas but also ash, covering vast areas and blocking sunlight. The Earth experienced rapid heating, then cooling, then heating again a pattern that added to the stress on plants, animals, and ecosystems. Imagine a world where the ground is shaking, the skies are dark, 
and rain falls with a vengeance, reshaping everything it touches. And here's the thing, this wasn't a one-time event. These eruptions happened again and again over thousands of years. They kept fueling this climate cycle, pushing Earth to its limits and transforming the environment faster than any species could adapt. And as the rain continued to pour, Earth's landscapes became unrecognizable. But why did these eruptions happen in the first place? One theory suggests it might have been triggered by tectonic plate shifts. As Pangaea, the massive supercontinent, slowly broke apart, it created intense geological pressure that built up under the Earth's crust, eventually bursting through as volcanic activity. Imagine the force needed to rip apart a landmass that size. The results were eruptions that covered entire regions in lava and ash, altering the entire climate. And with each eruption, Earth's atmosphere changed a little more. More CO2, more methane more ash, more rain. It was a cycle that fed itself, intensifying with each eruption, each storm. The world was essentially caught in a climate loop, one that wouldn't break for over a million years. This climate loop didn't just bring rain, it brought opportunity. With so much water in the landscape, plants and ecosystems were given a chance to expand, adapt, and evolve in ways they never could in a dry, barren world. Slowly, life began to flourish in this wet, tropical environment. Imagine the smell of fresh, rain-soaked earth, the sound of water cascading through newly formed rivers, and green, lush green, spreading across a world that had once been dry and lifeless. The volcanic heat, the torrential rains, and the constant supply of moisture created the perfect recipe for life to adapt, grow, and eventually dominate. This was Earth's ultimate transformation, driven by forces deep within the planet and above the clouds. This rain-soaked world presented both challenges and opportunities for prehistoric life. Some creatures couldn't adapt and eventually disappeared, but others, they thrived. Amphibians found themselves in paradise as vast wetlands and swamps now covered much of the land. And in this rich, fertile world, new creatures began to emerge, including the first dinosaurs. Small but fierce, these early dinosaurs adapted quickly to the lush landscapes the rain had created. This era of endless rain sparked an explosion in biodiversity. Amphibians, reptiles, and even early mammals flourished. Plants grew larger and denser, creating entire ecosystems of towering trees and dense forests. It was a golden age of evolution. Animals adapted, developed sharper senses, new survival traits, and some even took to the trees as forests spread across the land. It was like nature hit fast forward on evolution, pushing life to adapt quickly to the constantly wet tropical conditions. Despite all this evidence, the story of Earth's ancient rainstorm still holds mysteries. The story of the Carnian Pluvial episode is a stark reminder of how powerful climate shifts can be. Today, we're seeing our own climate change, rising CO2 levels, warming temperatures, and more extreme weather events. Could a million-year rainstorm happen again? How would humanity adapt to a world of constant rain and flooding? Would we survive or would we face consequences as drastic as those ancient creatures? Curious about what other secrets our planet's past holds? Then hit that subscribe button and join us as we journey through Earth's forgotten mysteries. And tell us in the comments, do you think another climate shift of this scale could happen again? And if it did, would we be ready? And stay tuned for next video.